she's not coping with something. Oh, well. It's unbelievably buggy tonight. Which is so disappointing. Mm -hmm. This is... Hey, TMD Jason. How's it going, my man? My camera here is wild laggy. Must rectify this for the moment. Talk about having technical difficulties tonight. This is just shocking. Pure dung. Like, it, nothing ever stays... Nothing ever stays just the way it's supposed to stay. From one stream to the next. It just... <laughs> there's always something changes. And I don't understand it. But it does. There we go. That's maybe a bit better. Yeah. That seems to be a little bit more responsive. Let's get this camera in the right position here. That's it. There we go. That looks a bit. Looks a wee bit better. Ooh, I've got the mic in the way. That's okay. Hopefully that works well. You can hear me. Um. Drink a tea first. I told my wife for Father's Day she needs to buy me a better mug than all the girly mugs she has in the house because <laughs> it ain't doing anything for my street cred, right? Not that I have that much street cred. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm also going to record this because I really want to try something different for the recording too. But <laughs> this machine is not liking what I'm doing at the moment. So... Well, we're going to see how if it stabilizes, the stream stabilizes all right tonight. X out of a few things I do not need. Open. Uh, that seems that's a bit better. Oh. And Jason, how are you anyway? I haven't seen you about in a while. There. Maybe you can hear me. I don't know. We'll see. But now I'm hoping the PC will handle this bad boy because I have, but I've just asked it to do something it's not used to doing. trying to record this separately tonight and the hope is that she'll be better okay she seems to be handling that that seems to be fairly stable hey mac on who's there how's it going Okay. Pop that out there. Yep, don't need you. Okay. 
I'm good, man. I'm good. I cannot wait to get started on this once I've got all the wee bugs here fixed out. I thought I had everything sorted before stream, but then started stream, and then it was like, eh, uh, how about no? So it wasn't that it's not being very nice with me tonight. machine but yes right okay I have I have a real treat for you tonight and I'm quite excited about this because at, for a moment today I thought things weren't going to arrive but they have and today what I have is I have my mystery box that I ordered which I am quite pleased that arrived. This is £55 worth of Pokemon cards from a local UK company I found on TikTok, would you believe it? All places. Uh, TradingCardsUK.co.uk, I believe it is, if I remember correctly. And I basically said, look, send me that one. He has different mystery boxes, and I thought I'll try him on a £55 one and see what we get. So we have that. But as an additional treat, as an additional treat tonight, we have, I really didn't think this was coming, so this is pretty cool. We have this box, and this is something extra special, okay? This box is filled with Pokemon cards that a very old family friend of mine got, uh, his teenager got these given to him by people. And he's relatively new into Pokemon. And I said, look, tell you what to do, send me them all. I'm, I've got uh, sleeves and everything coming and I'll go through them on stream and we'll have a look and see if there's any real gems in, in this mix. And he had said there are some base set ones in here as well. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping to see some of these base set ones. I haven't uh, handled any base set in a long time so this will be a real treat and I'm not joking yet there is a mountain of cards in here so I'm, I'm really quite excited about seeing what's in this so but we're going to do this after we do the mystery box first that's the plan that is the plan that is what we're going to do if you're with me of course if you're with me and we will absolutely smash this out of the park tonight. I cannot wait. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a different button. Oh, don't go laggy on me now. I hate when this camera goes laggy. It's not fun. Not cool, man. Not cool. Tell you what, let's just get into it. I want to get into this. I'm not waiting any longer. I need my scissors. As soon as I turn off that recording, it was fine. So we will not, will not do it that way. I love, I love opening Pokemon cards. 
but even more shot. I love when playing bot as a Pokemon card. Like, who doesn't? Who doesn't love when playing bot as a Pokemon card? It's class. Uh, if you're here for the first time, I appreciate you dropping on by. I hope you uh, enjoy. If you haven't seen last Thursday's stream, it was a, I mean, it was an absolute banger. It really was. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo. Okay. Now I think maybe I was supposed to open it from the other side. Should we try it? Oh, I maybe should open it from the other side, actually, because that's maybe the way he was intending to make it open. Oops. I opened it upside down. <laughs> I'm too excited to check which way was the right way. I also got a really nice canvas of my home city put up on my office wall over there, so I'm quite excited about that. My office is starting to come together. It's pretty cool. My own wee home from home. Oh, don't, don't, don't put the phone card in. I'm going to cut through any cards now, come on. Don't want to cause any problems before we get going. Wow, he has fairly sealed these bad boys up. I'm not really cutting them, I'm not sure. No, it's just all right. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. We're in. We're in. Are you are you ready for this? Let's see. <gasps> Seriously? Oh my word, <laughs> this is quite a lot uh quite a lot going on here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's have a wee nosy. Okay, first things first I saw. There's a Galarian Oh, you guys can't see this here. Hold on, I'll get this moved up a bit. A Galarian slow roll V10. Very nice. Very nice. Four TCG packs. Who knows what we'll get in that. But a tin is always a tin. It goes well in my decorations up the back here. Where are we at? Like, we've got all the other tins from the other night there, you see? Ooh, wait there. there one. Those ones are shining. Shining fates as well. Oh, loads of... I love tins for decoration purposes, so... Got this one. So that's pretty... Yes, we're going to open them all, don't worry. We also have, <gasps> yes, I love these wee tins. I was going to order some of these. In fact, I'll tell you what I've ordered for next week. Shh, shouldn't say this. I've ordered the five shining face tins to open next week. So I'm very, very excited about those because I love that. I love the decoration for the back. I love that they all join up. So, um, two Pokemon TCG boosters. Now, it'll be interesting to see. I'm assuming Sword of Shield, I have a funny feeling it's not going to be XY Evolutions. The ones I have here at the back, I know have XY Evolutions in, and that's why I haven't opened them, because they're actually worth more money sealed right now. This, I'm not sure, so we'll just open it and we'll find out. We'll see. Oh my word. Here, this is... Oh! oh. Here. Just have a, have a wee chick in there, look at that. Oh! You got a wee nosy. It's looking pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty sweet. So, this is where I got my cards from. I always like to show you where I buy them from. At the end of the day, it's worth doing it. Um, so if you... Ah, uh, no, thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate it. Uh, and I hope uh, you you get more sales from it. So if you're in the UK, because I think it's... One people, people always tell me is the UK is hard to find Pokemon cards. And it is in shops. But I find there's local people who have actually started up their own business and it's it's fantastic. Oh, we have some... Oh. I'm loving the mystery box, I'm not going to lie. Okay. We have a Japanese V card. Now, I can't remember the name of this Pokemon, so don't ask. But a Japanese V. That's, that's class. So hold on, I don't know what else. Oh. Oh, and a vivid voltage sleeve. Nothing wrong with that. Let's just take him out how we know to here. We'll have to do a bit of research and find this out afterwards. Unless any of you know who this is, please tell me. Oh, I, I need to get used to this camera, man. But a Japanese V card. That's insane. So, like, I have no idea what he was going to put in this. This is... And I, all I saw was really good reviews, so I thought, right, we'll give him a go and see what it's like. So... And honestly, the centering on that. Oh, it's, it's, this is officially my first Japanese Pokemon card. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm quite excited. Wow. 
Wow. Brilliant. That already has just tickled me pink that. That is class. So I'm gonna put that over there. Now. <laughs> a 10 sticker pack, and if I remember correctly, this is series one. Is this original? Oh my goodness, these are the this is the original sticker collection. <laughs> That's class. These would have been alright when I was a, a very young kid. Yeah, see you can see the back on those. 95, 96, 98. My memes are getting in the way right now. Hundred and fifty Pokemon stickers featuring every Pokemon, forty-five bonus prism stickers and eighteen rare gold stickers. That's oh, I don't know whether I want to open them. Do you know what? If you've got friends who want to come into chat and who want to open this, get them in here. And we'll get this open as well. That is that's a nice find. That's pretty sweet. Your man's making me want to buy another one off of here already, and I've only got into the top of it. Oh, we have a Toys R Us promo card. Yangmo, oh, 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 oh. Look at that there. Interesting. I'll have to do a bit. Oh, I don't drop it. Dear goodness, Gate, what are you doing? I'm going to have to do a bit of research into that. I don't know where a Toys R Like, Toys R Us is obviously, I think they're reopening, but this is... This will be interesting to find out a bit more about too. Wow. So we've got some booster packs. Oh, excellent. Vivid Voltage. And two Sun and Moon base packs. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh, this one's been... This one's teared. Oh, dear. I thought that one felt a bit funny. No, that one's all good. That one's that one's good and sealed. This one's a wee bit teared. Oh, I'm going to have to check that one out. Okay, cool. The, this Japanese version can be used in the world. I have no idea. You'd have to... I, I couldn't tell you. That's the truth. I have never seen one of these in the UK. Not the not the booster pack. The blister pack. The cardboard one. That I've never seen them. I've never seen them hang up. We have ones with... Um, uh, Plastic and, and, and all that. I've never seen a full cardboard one like this. But that is, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie there. Then we have a, oh, a triple booster pack. Rebel Clash. That's actually quite nice. I'm quite chuffed with that. And then, last but not least, a giant. Pikachu V promo card. Now I think do I I might have this one in sealed condition already. I might. Can't remember. But that's that's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. That's nice. And that is everything. I, I actually would have to work out the value of all this because this is pretty like that's a nice wee extra card to get, I'm not gonna lie. That's lovely. I'll put that at the back. But this is, what, 12, 13 pound? That's a tenner right there. The tens are 20 quid. So, 20, 30, let's even say another 10, 40. Then we've got four boosters there. That's 12. Is that? No, 16. Money. Already, and with the giant card, the Japanese card, the stickers, original stickers, and the Toys R Us. So far, that this has actually worked out quite nice. I'm not gonna lie, for just for just opening them and just having them as is. But that's not why we got them, is it? We got them because we're gonna open them. That's right. We're gonna get these bad boys open. Oh yeah. Um, okay. I see you shouting there in the chat. I see you shouting. Um, I'm gonna just 
interest. And I think we'll, we'll, we'll open the slow roll tin first. We'll do that first. Okay. That's better. Now I can see. See it all. Okay, yes. So we'll get into the Galarian slow bro v10 first and see what packs we actually get in this because i found the tins we got the other day they were fantastic g freeza thank you very much for the follow welcome to the geek crew hope you're enjoying your time here what pokemon v do i want what do i not want I would take anything at this stage, to be honest with you. I, I'm just really enjoying opening Pokemon cards more than anything else. And, and it's the experience of doing it with other people that I've really enjoyed. So, yeah, you've, you've just missed the, the... This was the £55 mystery box I got. All these cool little additions. I've got booster packs here galore. We're going to get into that all tonight and see and then have that special extra bot at the end. I'm gonna have a look at it. So let's have a look and see what this Galarian slow roll V-Box has got for us. Ugh. Oh, look at that, that's an interesting. I've not seen it done like that. Oh, so it's less plastic. Oh, it's all cardboard. Oh, interesting. So there's Galarian slow roll V, nice. I actually think I like that kind of way it's held like that, nice. That over there and code card for all you budding online tzg players i am going to give you guys all the code cards i have no need for them at the moment i'd love to do the online tcg i don't have time uh, and there's so many other things i would love to do on this channel and again time is not my friend okay we'll put that over there let's see what packs we've got oh so these actually were the vivid voltage series ones so we've got Two Vivid Voltage, Sword and Shield, and Breakpoint. Okay, Breakpoint's all right. I'm happy with enough of that. If I'd got another Steam Siege like the other pack, the other one last week, I would have maybe had a bit of a meltdown. Steam Siege, no! I actually really like the fact they brought cardboard because the amount of plastic they were putting in these things was insane. You think how many people were opening them. The Greninja. Okay, well, we'll see. Let's hope we get him that pen for display purposes of course for display purposes you have to have display purposes okay so i think what i'm going to go for is the break point first and we'll see what we have okay you know, i just love even just chilling and I'm pumping more cards. Just, it's so relaxing. It really is. They're side up. Okay. And code card. Again. Enjoy. I believe it's three for the XY, if I remember correctly. Okay. Let's see what we get. We have Potion. Palpitoad. Luxio, Sigh, Phantop, Slowpoke, going with his brother over there, nice, Shinx, Spritzy, a Slowpoke, Reverse, Holographic, I'm not going to lie, that's, that's a nice wee touch for the, coming from a Galarian Slowbro tin, and our rare is... Hammer up. No good. No cigar. But we'll put we'll put the reverse hollow with our with our buddy there. How about that? Because they've got to be together, sure. We can't we cannot separate them forever. Right. We'll go into Sword and Shield. We'll see what we get in that. No Grin Ninja, unfortunately. That's a shame. G3. 
get this one open. Not playing ball with me, come on. Thank you. I'm trying to keep the place tidy because see after last week's one, it was an absolute mess. Pokemon TCG, Sword and Shield, enjoy. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we get. Water energy. Why did that turn upside down? That was just sure. Raboot. Pop. Most irritating character in the game. Pokemon 3.0. Galarian Meow. Score Bunny. Okay, we've got a Raboot and a Score Bunny in the same pile. That's nice. Sinistee. Maractus. Hip hip. Pikachu! I love a bit of Pikachu. A reverse hollow rare candy. Now that's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. And our rare is. A Drampa non holographic. Poop poop. <laughs> Never mind. We will keep on going. The struggle is real. No pulls so far. Like the other, last week we were getting them left, right, and center. You know what? I'm not even sure I want to wear this hat. My hair is not even done, but I can't wear the hat. Oh. It was just, it felt like it was suffocating. My hair is getting to the point now where I, I can't, I can't control it. There's no point in putting gel in the spike up. It's, uh, it's just a mess. And the beard is starting to, the moustache is starting to grow over the lips now. It's starting to get a bit crazy. I'm hoping I'll get a great V Pokemon G freeze. Too vivid voltage. We're gonna leave the chonka chonk to last. We'll go with the orbital one. And let's see if we get anything in this one. Get us, get us started. Oh, that's a good sign. Pokemon TCG online, vivid voltage. Enjoy. One, two, three, four. Let's Let's bring the fire or 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 water I'll take either Nessa hubba hubba Krokorok Krokorok I can never pronounce that one probably Escadrill Whooper Danny Pick a pick Churro my wee buddy love Churro Riolu. Okay. The one I can't pronounce, reverse holographic. And our rear is a shaman holographic. Our first holographic pool of the evening. Not a bad wee card. Not a bad wee card. We'll take it. Better than nothing at the end of the day. Right, the Chonkachu. See if he's going to bring us the... Yeah, it's a lovely card, isn't it? Really is quite nice. I actually quite like the holograph on it, because it's that light lined holographic, so you get that effect. We can sort of see it on camera. Nice. I love that I just love the design of the cards are so much better than they ever were when I got into it in like base set, so. Yeah. This one's being phony. Ah. I'm hoping that's a good sign. And the packs are hard to open that you've got something for me. Right. And do you know what? I don't even trust the green and red car, a green and white card thing anymore. Because last week I pulled a GX out of a green one and it was like, I was not expecting it at all. It's all lies. Lightning energy. First, that's like a different energy we've had. Last two have both been water. Galvantula. Go Goat, Wyndham Stadium, Taylor, Charmander, I love Char Char, Whooper, Galarian, Meow, Cottony, Coating Energy Reverse Holographic, and a rare is a Shift Tree, non holographic. We are not getting the same kind of pulls we were getting last week. This is, I must have used up all my luck after last week. It was just too much. It couldn't handle it. So we've got another tin. 
Rebel Clash. Do you know what? Let's go into the Sun and Moon. Let's get the Sun and Moon out of the way. But look at this one, this pack. I'm sure he didn't mean for this pack to arrive like this. It could have been me opening the pack, possibly. A wee bit of a cut there on it, so let's hope that's not... But it's still sealed here. So, and you see that? So it's still sealed. It's obviously just got damage and transportation. That's okay, we can live with that. But let's hope none of the cards are damaged. That's the main thing. Let's see. Okay. No, so far so good. We're looking we're looking promising. Oh my word, look how badly cut that is. That is woeful. Sun and moon. They sit. DC a jet. Three, four. Yeah, these cards are not cut well. <gasps> R.I.P. Fairy. Bryony. A big... Or what? A big Malasada. Blue. Pukamuku. Litten. Torkoal. Yongus. Rowlet. Cosmog. Togodomaru. Reverse Holographic. And our rare is a Cosme... Cosmoin? Cosmoin? Non-holographic. Dent as well, actually. Yeah, not fantastic condition, but sure. So, so, yeah, the packs have not... I'm not gonna lie, they've not been, they've not been fire tonight. Last week, gold cards. We got double uh, same uh, VMAXs, VMAX shinies, the whole shebang, like, unbelievable. And I'm intrigued because this guy does, he does like a £25 um, measure box, 55 75 and I think he does a 100 105 one. So I'm hoping to maybe go for a, a bigger one. These Sun and Moon ones are so badly cut. <laughs> That's unreal. Unbelievable. Two, three, four. Here we go. We have Darkness Energy. Okay. We have Hypno, Pokeball, we're all starred, Pelipper, Crabrawler, Sandile, Alola Meowth, that's a lovely, lovely artwork, Pikapek, Eevee, everybody loves Eevee, I think I, I've yet to find a bad artwork for Eevee, maybe it's out there, but I haven't seen it. Metapod Pod Reverse Holographic and our rear is Butterfree. Be free, Butterfree. Non-holographic. Never mind. I'm hoping we're gonna get something here. From so we've got a lot of Rebel Clash coming up. I've got one more vivid voltage which we'll we'll leave. Um let's do the let's do this uh blister pack. I haven't Honestly, never seen this in the UK. I don't think you get it in standard shop over here. So this is, I, I'm kind of wanting to, yeah, I want to kind of try and keep that actually. It's quite nice. Because that's unusual for us over here. I know in the States, that's like, that's just how they come. Not over here. No, no sir. Oh, I've got to keep hydrated. Okay, okay. Let's get into this Rebel Clash. Sword and Shield. Yeah, there we go. Happy days. Oh. They're not being nice to us tonight. Total Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. GZG. One, two, three, four. Okay. We're upside down again, aren't we? We have Psychic Energy, Capture Energy, Charge Bug, Shuckle, Natu, Barboach, Squavit, Atlan, Temple. Galarian, Mr. Mime, and our rear is a Sigilf. 
not great. Not great at all. So far, this box has not returned the fire that was worth the money yet. But there is still a chance. There is still a chance. Uh, do we do the tin? Excuse me. I think we do the tin next then. Let's get into this tin and see what's in here. scratch the tin. No, this was a £55 mystery box that I bought from a local guy in the UK. Here's the wee tab at the back. I wonder where it's gone. So... These are... Very difficult to get into. I suppose that's the point. To put off the thieves. Seriously, come on. Thieves are. There we go. Now we're getting in there. Now we're there. Now we're there. Oh. Right. I've never actually opened one of these tins before, so uh, we'll, we'll see what it's like inside. I bought loads of them. <laughs> I've just never opened one. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we have a sun and moon. Yes, I do show cards, Captain Review. You can stay for the cards for sure. Darkness Ablaze. Okay, dead on. There we go. And Lycan Rock coin, I think that is. There you go. And a Sun and Moon base set. Talk about getting uh, not great cards. And there's your Galarian Sir Fetched art card. No, it's alright, Captain Review. I don't I don't really play the game online. I would like to get into it, but time is not in my hands. Only far fetched that have survived many battles can attain this evolution. When this Pokemon's leak withers, it will retire from combat. There you go. Random facts, but that is a nice coin, you're right. G Freeze. Unusual golden shimmered. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry. Excuse your ears. I like the tins. They look good too. Um, put that over there. Right, we'll do the sun and moon first. Uh, let's see if we get anything from this. I have yet to get anything decent from sun and moon base sets. I'm not gonna lie. Um, probably because there isn't much decent in these. Thanks, Captain Review. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay, let's see. <laughs> There's a code card, Sun and Moon. Typical, the first white card I get is on the Sun and Moon base set. Let's see what we get. Un, deux, trois, quatre. That's the extent of my French. Don't test me. I'm a bent these cards too. Not overly, not overly uh, enamored here at the moment, but we'll see. The lightning Energy, we have Potion, Spinda, Steeny. Dratini, a Lowland Diglett, Boon Sweet, Skarmory, Curefly, Crocor Rock, Reverse Holographic. I think that's the second one of those we've actually got tonight, isn't it? And our rare is a Vicavolt Holographic. Wow, we are getting stung tonight by these pools. Oh dear, 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 dear. What are we going to do? I have the Vicavolt promo card actually from Darkness Ablaze. I think uh, from opening this here. Uh, right, let's see what we've got in Darkness Ablaze now. Darkness Ablaze. Will we be ablaze with the card that's here? I really hope so. Maybe not. Green gold card's never a good sign. There you go. Darkness of Blade, Sword and Shield. Gold card for you. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Right way around always helps. So we have Metal Energy. Oh, Hiding Energy. Parasect. Toxapex. 
Shell Mint, Panpur, Tediosa, Rukadi, Torchic, Shenotic, a reverse holographic, and our rear is Volcarona non holographic. I've got so used to saying non holographic now, it's just. Oh my goodness, these are rough. Rough, 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 rough. So I won't beat you to the code, you gotta be quick in this place. So we're gonna go into Rebel Clash Blister. Hi. We've got a Duraladon as our promo card. These are always a nightmare to get into. Always. Yeah. I'm always afraid of damaging the cards when I'm going into it. Security tag on the back? Hmm. Interesting. Cat questionable. So a rebel flash. Yep. There's your Rebel Clash 3 pack Duralaton TTG card. And let's get the card out here for a little closer look. There you go. So far we're only getting like promos and things, so we're not doing too good on that. The coin. Oh, who's that? I cannot tell myself. Maybe somebody somebody knows in chat who that is. I cannot tell. Rebel Clash. Let's get into it. Ugh. There we go. Oh, okay. We got a white gold card. Rebel Clash. Good luck, please. One, two, three, four. Let's get into it. Let's come on. We need a we need a decent pool. Let's get the energy going here. Let's get let's get some fire. Leaf energy. Somebody pointed out this. This is grass type, but we use a leaf as grass type. The leaf. Grass? Who the like three, three leaf over for some paddies here or something? Where did I find the cards? I get them online. I got these ones from um, a place called. TradingCardsUK.co.uk. Uh, I also buy them from uh, oh mouse something like that. magic magic madhouse. I also buy them from Total Cards, Chaos Cards, and there was another place that I found. I can't remember the name of it, but that was last week's ones. And every time I've got them from them last week, they've always been great. So. Speed energy. I think that's three or four times we've had energy and then another energy straight after tonight. Pelipper. Palo Sand. Magikarp. The Pikachu. Chonka Pika. <laughs> Meditite. Stunker. Grubbin. Wingle. A Bunnel Bee. Reverse holographic and our rare. You are kidding me. You're having a laugh. Don't. If I just pulled a second gold card, I pulled the gold card last week and I'm just about to pull another gold card. Are you having a laugh? Are you having a laugh right now? This, this is not. This is not even funny. Not even funny. <laughs> wow. Yes. 
Okay, calm down. Calm down. Let's see what we get. See if it's a good gold card. That's the question. Most of them are. Tool scraper. Gold. Rare. Secret rare. Oh boy, it's rare. I can't believe it. If you have not seen my video from last week, you can see the highlight video up on my uh, YouTube channel from last week. And I pulled a gold card last week as well. That's two weeks in a row I pulled a gold card. Now I know we haven't pulled much tonight, but to get a gold card already tonight is insane. That that even is a thing. I don't... <laughs> oh my word. Let me see if I can find something here. I am going to see... Because I like to check any good pulls I get. I like to check and see what it is. This is fantastic. This is great. Um, so this is from... Rebel Clash. Doing us a solid this evening. Tool Scraper. Let's see. Surprisingly, not that expensive a card. Going for about... 750 10 pound so it's choose up to two pokemon tools attach the pokemon yours or your opponents and discard them so it's a pretty powerful depending on i suppose how you build your deck but that's i'm i'm very happy to have a gold card you can't i don't think you can ever not be happy to pull a gold card that's insane man that's two weeks in a row i've had to pull gold cards Bloon Slayer, you opened a gold card too. Let's see now what for So let's see if the rest of this blister pack is as good as My word, that's insane. I don't know if it will be. I don't think it can be. You can't get that much fire in a blister pack. That won't be permitted. You would have been de denied by Pokemon. Who's hyped for Pokemon Snap? Come on. Pokemon Snap at the end of April. I cannot wait. I'm trying to choose how, trying to figure out what I can do as a Pokemon Nuts Lock challenge uh, before before that arrives. But I can't figure out what version of the game to do. This this mustache is starting to get really itchy, I'm not gonna lie. So we've got lightning energy, Heracross, Capacious Bucket, Turfield Stadium, Lotad. Growlithe. I love Growlithe. I just think it's such a class bone. I love dogs, so it's just right up my street. Roly Coley. Meditate. Grubbin. Charger Bug. Reverse Holographic. And a rare. A Toxtricity. Nice. Toxtricity rare. Unfortunately, non holographic. Uh, yes, it was on the N64 balloon, um, but they are bringing out a new version of the game, uh, and it will be released for the Nintendo Switch end of April. All new graphics, all redone, so I will be getting it, and I will probably be doing a few videos on it for months with Right, our last uh, Rebel Clash. Me one two 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 one two. Welcome to the Geek Crew. Thanks for joining us. Oh, we've got another white card. Excellent. This uh, this uh, blister pack has been good to us, man. Good to us. How you doing, me? It's not me. You, you, you or me? Did anyone have has anyone ever seen that uh, in the Jackie Chan movie? Oh, what was it? Who's you? To me? No, me, I'm me. You, me? I can't remember what one is, but it's hilarious. I don't know why I have the sniffles right now. It's insane. Well, my N64 does work. And it's right there. Oh, baby. I wish I actually had the original Pokemon Snap. Could have done that as a like pre thing to kind of duck to see what was coming out. That would have been quite fun. Okay, darkness. Carcoal. Trem, Pokeball, Electabuzz, Natu, Honedge, Impidimp, Magmar, Impidimp Reverse Holographic, 
and our rear. Oh boys, what have we got? A Nine Tails V Full Art? That's the full. It's not well cut, but it's a beautiful looking card. Oh my word, that is gorgeous. It's a really, really badly cut card, which is a real shame, but it is gorgeous. This, this blister pack has been really nice stuff. Ah, that is so annoying as well. This in good condition is probably going to go real nice. That, if it wasn't so badly cut, it's worth like £20, pound, and that, that card alone. There's about 30 quid probably between the two cards we got out of this blister pack alone, which has been awesome. It's been the only decent pulls that we've had. Um, so there you go, Nine Tails V. Full art version. Love it. Love it. Great. Decent pulls, finally. Okay. Our final pack, and then I'm tempted whether to open this or not, or whether I keep the, the stickers sealed. These are original stickers from 1999. Ten stickers in the pack. Mm, let's see. So Vivid Voltage is last pack for this. Then we have uh, my surprise um, someone's collection that we're going to go through that I find. I'm helping them go through it to find any valuables in it. And you guys get to join me in that journey to figure out what is worth it and what's good. I've heard there's some really nice cars in there, but the condition is mixed, so we'll have to see if we can get any absolute bangers. Base set, I believe, there's fossil, there's all sorts of cards in there. Um, some uh, old family friend of mine, their teenager, got uh, got given the cards for free by somebody who didn't realise the value of them. So, there we go, that's your last code card for this evening. I hope you get some bangers, and if you do, please drop a comment on YouTube uh, to let me know what you get. I'm always keen to know if anybody got anything decent. Three, four, we're all on our own Pokemon journey at the end of the day. Darkness. Nuzzly. Opal. B. Joltik. Cottony. Mudbury. Slugma. A Wishmer. So sad. A Whale Lord. Holographic. A reverse holographic. That's a rare. That's a pretty nice rare, actually. Not gonna lie. Look at that. Two Whale Lords on it. Buy one, get one free. And our rare is. Galarian Berserker. Non holographic rare. I like that one, that's nice. That's a reverse holographic rare. That's rare. <laughs> so there we go, that's the, that's the, that's what we got from our £50 booster pack. Uh, £55 um, mystery box. We got the Ninetales V, we got the Tool Scraper gold card. That's. I can't believe we've got another gold card in two weeks. Um, I don't have any Elite Trainer boxes, no. I don't really think they're worth the value for what you get for them, in my opinion. I don't generally go for the Elite Trainer boxes. Um, some promo cards, some holographics, but nothing major. We did get dropped in a lovely Japanese V card in it, which I thought was quite nice. I need to see, learn a bit more about this one. I don't know what this one is. Um, we got this promo Toys R Us one. Which I have no idea what this is for. Toys R Us doesn't exist over here anymore, so uh, if people are looking at this, this could be. I wonder actually, is it. Let's see if I can find out about it on here. Have a wee um, search thing that I go on to if I want to know. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Is there any mention of Toys R Us? I imagine it's fairly recent, when is it? 2017 McDonald's promos. Mm -mm. Nope. 
noise, miscellaneous cards and product. What's this thing? Yang Mo. Yang Mo Toys R Us, yeah. Not worth very much, unfortunately, but still sealed, which is nice. I always like a sealed product. You know what? I'm gonna open the stickers. No, no, I don't know. No, do you know what? No, I'm not opening the stickers. I'm gonna keep them sealed because that's a treat. That's something from 1999. It's still sealed. Very rare. So I'm gonna keep a hold of that for now. That's pretty nice. But now, we are going to, I'm going to move this all out of the way and uh, we're going to open this box of somebody's collection and we're going to go through it and see if there is anything of any real value for them. And it's, I think this is a real treat because people are, are, you know, someone's trusting me with their collection open it and shout out to um raf who who's it's his collection he will be watching this later on i'm sure with eager eagerness to see if there's anything of great value in it for him um as i am because there's base set fossil i mean you name it it's in here at the moment this is what it came in and there are so many so many in this it's not even funny so i'm going to sort through all these for them try and figure out what set they're from um and uh put them into oh my goodness the sticky things are grabbing my hairs ah get it over quick before i lose all my hairs on my arm come on oh my goodness this does not want to i want to go through all the sets anyway and figure out um what what set they're from uh, if there's any value of them. I've got sleeves and a, a binder coming um, I think tomorrow or Monday. So I'll have them all sorted and they'll send them back to him and uh, yeah, he will hopefully enjoy seeing this later on. So there's a lot of, a lot of packing peanuts as well in this. Let's see if we can get these all off. Or shall we tell you what, let's just leave them in there. So look, they've been packed packaged in these neat little packages so that's going to make them a bit more fun to open and see what each one has so they're well packaged which is good so if there are any decent ones that's fine uh, let's see got plenty of space yep there are more here okay excellent excellent there we go oh my word there's so many to go through i'm very excited some original base set cards here well, it has a bit of a bump in it. And I think, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you can't see this. There's some all in a, this is all wrapped up. They're in a folio already, like a mini folio that he had. I forgot he was going to do that. Oh. oh, wow. I'm seeing some cards there, folks. I am seeing some bangers already. Yes. This is, this is why I love it. I love finding the people who have got old cards and they don't know anything about them and getting to have a look through them. And I'm so, I'm so pleased that he trusts me to have a look through these for him. Um, I, I feel honored that I, I, he trusts me enough to look through these. So um, let's get into this. This is gonna take a while to edit afterwards anyway, that's for sure. And if you're here joining me live, thank you for <laughs> joining because this is, You can't see because my hand's in the way. There's a base set Blastoise here. Oh my word. Some of these cards are insane. You've got to be kidding me. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have to do it this way. Because otherwise you're going to see them all before I get a chance to show you them. If you're... Oh man. Right. Okay. Let's see what's on this one here. So, we've got some reverse holographics. Nice. There's a rare reverse holographic polyrath. Okay, cool. Very nice. I'll put them over there. By the way, let's see. 
Oh, a reverse holographic Mew. That's nice. I need to figure out what the logos. I can never remember the logos. There's a Rayquaza Spirit Link as well. Ah, oh, Ben, how's it going? Long time no see. Welcome back. Good to have you back with us. These are some lovely, there's another Bayonet Rare Reverse Holographic. These are class. This is going to take me forever to go through all these, but I'm so excited. I love it. Oh, wow. Look at that. If we think we go away. We've got the Growlithe and we have the Arcanine Reverse Holographic. I have both those. That's pretty cool. And they look like really good condition too. Sue Queen. Reverse Holographic. Oh my word. That could be, that could be nice, right there, because I bet you most people don't have the reverse holographic, they probably have the hollow version of it. Oh man. Oh, a Lolan Marowak. Rare. Beautiful. We're getting so, we're getting a treat tonight, folks. We are getting a treat. Loads of rare reverse holographic as well. Well, of course you have to work here at college, Ben. I mean, what do you think? You think it's going to give you a degree? I've worked and got mine. Now I guess you have to look at Pokemon cards. Some epic damage on some of these, though, I have to say. Epic, epic. Bad damage. Oh, now we're getting into something. Two original base set. Yep. Wizards of the Coast base set Pikachus. Look at this. What is this? Oh, it's a different... Can you see that? It's a different language. But what I don't get about it is... I don't know what set it's from. And it's 14 of 30. So that one's I'm gonna have to have I'm really gonna have to do a bit of digging into that one. There's 16 out of 30, 13 out of 30. Oh so these are possibly another language version of like the um McDonald's cards that we get. Look at that Pikachu though. <laughs> this uh, this doesn't cost me anything. This is actually a um this is a family friend of mine, their teenager got given these cards for free and he doesn't know what to do with them so I have bought a folio to, and sleeves to put them through I'm going to go through them and categorise them in the right sets and I'm also going to see if there's any ones of any great value. Oh my word! <laughs> Pikachu anybody? These are all... Well, no, actually, sorry, they're not all. Well, that's interesting. So that's 1999, but this is 1999-2000. Different sets. This is more recent. All slight variants of the same card from different sets. Different years. But what's interesting is there's what looks like the same year. Well, it's base set 2, that's why. It's a base set 2 Pikachu. Slightly different offset colour. Fascinating. What people just don't think there's value in, now there is. Okay, nice. We're getting into a few holographics. <gasps> no, I thought that was a Mewtwo base set. It's not, it's a Mewtwo holographic from uh, XY Evolutions. Sharpedo, Dark Bright. Oh, hello. There is a Vaporeon Jungle Holographic from the original set. Now that's nice. Condition is unfortunately not great, but sure. And these, there's, these look like Porygon 2. That looks like a, a special promo card. So does this one. Breaks in. Holographic promo. 
That's a McDonald's one. I think I have a, one of those. Um, that my nieces, I think, collected one day. Oh, we have Charizards. We have Charizards. 2007. So, 6 of 108. They're from the same year, but they look very different. Isn't that interesting? I'm going to have to look up those as well, because there does seem to be a difference in those, and I can't tell why. One, it's like the better condition of the other, but sure. Cynthia, reverse holographic. Beware holographic. Beware had a holographic. Right, okay. Is that, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm in group. There's a Chansey base set holographic. That there is rare. Condition is not fantastic, but still the front of it, mm, nah, that's a bit scraped up, unfortunately. But still, I mean, even just to have it in my possession to even look at it is fantastic. This card looks a little bit weird. The Zapdos, non-holographic, but it looks a little bit odd. To look into that one. I think that might be a fake card actually. Even the text looked a bit off. But then someone's probably just been dumped these cards and the that's the problem is you might find ones like that that are a bit oh, oh now we're getting into it. That is an nine tails from 2016 so that is a holographic nine tails from XY Evolution. We have the Gengar Holographic as well. Mega Requaza EX. That is so nice, but it's, oh, it's unfortunately it's all scraped. And uh, not scraped, bent. Got creases on it. Ah. Same with that Magneton. Got a crease on it. 2016. Some nice cards, so it's nice. I, I, I'm assuming these are the best ones, and these are all sort of just we'll see what there is. But there we go. There's a Garros GX, which I think is the Hidden Fates one, is it? No, it's before that. The Blastoise is a class card on its own. Its condition is not great, unfortunately. A Volcanion, a Zapdos EX. 2012. Sizor EX. Mega Garvador EX. I think that's the alternate art one, is it? Not great condition either. Again, these are just class to even look at. Just to have. That looks like a full art Margaret. Mega Rat. Oh, I can't pronounce that one at all. Pikachu V. Okay. Well, now we're going to have to look into all these. I'm going to have to get my scissors out for all these now. There we go. Let's get into this first one. See what we have in here. See if any valuable Pokemon cards to be had. Okay. Let's see what surprises you have in store for me that I was not prepared for. Okay. Let's see. We have Tangela. Graparig, Aron, Spiro, Ari, Shimchar, Dratini. It's going to take a while to get through all these cards and to sort them into their sets to see how he's doing for the set. Some of the conditions of the cards are not great, but you just don't know what you might find. That's the thing about it. Anybody could find a half decent card in amongst a pile of cards that look 
worst, two worst for wear. Okay, Chimchar, Whisper, Vangela again. Ah, there's a Charmander from base set too. Relatively good condition too. That's a really nice one. They're always very nice, very popular. Generally is very good condition. Yeah. Not bad condition at all. Or oh, the Sh Vulpix from base set too as well. Also very nice. And then the Vulpix from base set. That's awesome. Ponyta from base set. T or Team Rocket, sorry. Team Rocket, they're both good condition too. Probably worth a wee bit of something too, those ones, original ones. Magikarp, poorly cut, 216. Is that, a, is that a reverse holographic? Gothita? Looks like it. Weird. Doesn't look quite. Oh, hold on. A Pokemon World Championship 2013 card. Interesting. Ah, no, that's an interesting card right there. Recycle Fossil. I have the first edition version, and that's actually still in okay condition. Not fantastic, it's okay though. Nice. And there's Jungle. Jungle Spiro. Not bad condition, all things considered. Shell of Shrush. Schneider. That Charmander's nice though. <laughs> Yeah, pretty nice. I'm gonna put the back in the middle. Keep it in half decent condition. Okay. We'll wrap it back up just to keep it nice and safe. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Come on! Let's see if we have anything in here. I wonder if we should keep that bubble wrap to send them back. Okay. What is that there? Okay. We got a Pansage. Wishy washy, rookie Crazy Magic Corps. There's an Abra base set too. Very nice. Abra from base set. Another one. Another one. Fantastic. Slowpoke base uh, Team Rocket. Also very nice. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we have here. That's 2016. There's base set Ponyta. My goodness, the damage. But then you get one like that that's actually really quite nice. And another one, base set. Another Ponyta base set. Plenty of those. There's a Team Rocket Avra. Look at that. Now that's a nice, that's a nice card right there. Team Rocket. So that's from 2000. A little bit of whitening on the edges, but it's actually a relatively good condition card. All things considered, of course. Voltor base set. Base set, base set, base set. No, uh, Team Rocket as well. Okay, wow, wow, wow. No, uh, Team Rocket one, sorry. All, some of them are good condition. A Magnemite Team Rocket, nice. Magmite base set. Okay, some interesting ones in there. I think it'd be quite nice to get these all into proper, into their proper sets and see what way they're they're actually all completed. 
do I think there's going to be some of those common and uncommon ones that they're going to have quite a good selection of. Nice. Okay. My goodness, that was... I'm curious why this one has a bit of a hump. Is it, maybe they've got some coins? Let's get into this one here. Let's see what they've got. These are definitely coins then. Wonder what coins they've got though. So let's have a look here. Oh, you can see that. Well, you used one there. Lovely coin. A Lugia blue coin. Oh, that's interesting. That's a little bit different from your standard coins. I like it. Ooh. Star Pokemon. Can't remember what generation. Some of them will tell me, I'm sure. That's pretty sweet. Nice. Noise. Up there. Okay, let's see what we've got in this pack. Base set Star you and Magnemite. Team Rocket Voltorb again. Hidden gem is in amongst all this, you know. Oh, that's a switch from base set. Gambler from fossil. Good condition too. Recycle from fossil. Look how many recycles from fossil. Oh my word. I I'm not gonna lie, some of these are actually in really good condition. They go for a few quid on eBay, just even in. That's insane. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight relatively good condition recycled. Let's have a look at the back of them. See if we spot one that's the best. Yeah, those recycles, those would, people would buy them in their current condition on eBay for a few pounds. You got 16 quid just in those there. Unbelievable, like, and it, it, you know, people don't think, oh my goodness, no one will pay for them. People do, you'll be amazed. You know, that's 16 quid and just eight cards. Maybe you get a bit more depending on the condition. But then think of all the other base set cards and everything you've got in there. Like, it all adds up quick enough, like. And then depending on how desperate some people are for their holographics, they're willing to take them in poor condition, which some people will. They could still be worth a few bob too. Get the right person, you know? Okay. See if we have anything in this one, and it's the spy set. Oh, we have some reverse holographics. A Treku reverse holographic, nice. Power set. Oh, these are loads of reverse holographics, nice. And there's a Hypno Rare holographic, nice. There's a Lickton from base set two. There's Charmeleon. Base set, I believe. Rose from a more recent set. 
Well, Sword and Shield, obviously. I think I'm much more recent than that, I suppose. Right, you have a brakes and holographic in there as well, it's pretty nice. Monfab, no. Summer Sage. Hitmon Chan. Netherina, Netherino, sorry, Ponchel. Extra Oak Pokemon Breathers Nurturing, a more recent one too. Okay, so that was quite a recent set card. Still nice though. <sighs> Where did I put that? Oh, Come back to me. Got some shining fates open next week as well. Can't wait to do that. I think they'll be here actually this week. Might even do them on Monday. And maybe do an Alakazam V box. I have sent up there for the first since January. Not open. We'll see. We shall see all this to go through. This is going to take me, this will actually probably take me weeks of work just sitting going through all these and categorizing them in the right sets because I'm not in as much touch about the old, uh, the more recent uh, sets. But Victor, thanks very much for the follow. Welcome to the crew. Right, so we have Perline, Carvana. Okay. Oh, Charmander base set. Charmander base set. That's quite nice condition, those two, though. And uh, back to that one, not fantastic, but nice to see them. Team Rocket. Some lovely Team Rocket cards in here, too. What's happened to that one there? Come and draw on that? That just looks weird. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, it looks like someone drawn that and tried to clean it off. That's funny. Things people do with their cards. Everybody's different. That one looks in good condition. Oh my word, it really is. It's in a really, really nice condition. Be gentle with that one. Be gentle. Be gentle. Charmander again. Another Charmander. Okay condition. Whoa, what happened? This Charmander, he's lost his flame a bit. Japers, the fade on that is unreal. Jigglypuff. Nice. Okay. There's some Henry gems in there that I think could be worth a few. Few, uh, a few bobs to the right people. Most of them are common uncommon ones from various sets that I'll have to figure out. I'm like only, I'm not even sure I'm halfway through this yet. So many cards. I can't believe we're giving all these for free. Probably because the condition of them are not fantastic, but even then, some of those base set, even Team Rocket ones, people will pay just money on eBay for them. Because they want them to start collecting. And that was maybe the set that they started collecting when they were younger. Look at this. Look straight into an Abra Team Rocket. And it looks fantastic too. Oh my word. It's a great condition. And then we've also got Coughing Team Rocket. We nick in the corner. Not as good condition, but again, people might want these just for their a collection. Just don't know. Well, that's why it's always worth keeping your your cards in relatively good condition if you can. I 
There's an Abra from base set, not great condition. Energy set from fossil. Unfortunately, a bit damaged. It's a shame. Onyx from base set. How nice is that? Oh, 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 oh. Careful, careful. Blowpoke Team Rocket. Doing a bit of fishing, apparently. Spiro base set. Ah, uh, not base set, jungle. Also not bad condition, considering. Charmander again. I mean, how many Charmanders have we seen? Ball pit. Look at that point. That is weird. What's wrong with her face there? Another Charmander, but this is 2016. Gold Corp. Drowsy. And. Ooh! An interesting wee Pikachu, isn't it? 2016. A nice one too. I like that Pikachu. You got that one top back, I think, with the come back here, Fisher Paper. You still have a job to do. There we go. Oh, I need a drink now. This is hard work looking through all these Pokemon cards like you. Yeah. Oh, stressful thing. What a hard job, eh, to look through Pokemon cards from the past. Things you do to pass the time. <laughs> now my plan is to go through most of these and uh, most likely try and categorize them in such a way that they make sense and show some sort of value uh, which ones are valuable which ones are not and also just to get them into the right sets because as you saw from earlier on all these folio ones here like base set different eras i'd love to try and keep them all together in their appropriate uh, sets and hopefully the folio i bought i had like i bought one folio for the guy I don't know, one folio is going to be enough. And there's a lot of these that might not be worth keeping, it's probably the best way I would put it. Because the condition of them is not fantastic. So... Ninja Boy! Like my... It's like my son. Uh, let's see... Let's get through. Charmeleon from base set. In actually really good condition. Oh, there's a wee nick in the bottom corner there, but still. For someone's collection, that'd be nice. There's another one. Unbelievable. Base set. Gee, for so. And another one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a gold bat from Fossil. Another gold bat Fossil. I mean, you could make yourself a half decent deck probably from this all these. These are all much newer cards here. Loads of trainer. Arcanine. Love Arcanine. Dark Electrode from Team... Look at that there. That's really nice. That's actually in really good condition. That's only an uncommon too. Unbelievable. I kind of think some of them would be in... Uh, higher up there the rankings but there you go a dark charmeleon oh my word also in really good condition wow wow we that's a couple of special ones there that we've got go through this one again for sure charizard spirit link a galil Wow, that's an interesting card. Right, you. And the Blastoid Spirit Link as well. 
interesting. Oh, it's just going to be fun to go through. I have to do it when my kids are in bed, though. There's no way I can do it while they're sitting up. We'll have them all over the place. I haven't wrecked any decent ones or was in there. They will be gone. Some definite hidden gems in there that I would be keen to see what the value of them are now. Uh, I had bought some recently for a base set and things like that. And even the sort of Charmeleon Charmanders and stuff like that are still going for a few pounds. And if you get them in an okay condition, even okay condition, they can still go for a good bit more. Um, it just depends how desperate people are for them. And I think now seems to be the right time to see what you can do with them. But it could be worth keeping them, who knows? Who knows what the future holds for us all? A bomb of snow. Definitely more recent set, sure. Not reverse hall of shift grade. Crab bubble and all. Reverse hall are all rare. Rare. Another rare. Pang pang. Another rare. Dark trio. Blue the rares here. Swampert. Another rare. Electrode rare. Wow. These are all rares. That's incredible. So many rares from so many different sets too. Oh, you can see that. Sorry, Hitmon Lee. Whoa! Look at that nine tail. Look at that nine tail. Which one's better condition? Looks like this one might be slightly better. Look at that artwork. When's that from? Two thousand and seven. I'm gonna have to. Um, Some of these are sets I never opened myself and were through a phase where I was not interested in Pokemon at all um, from opening as a kid. Power Keepers EX series. Wow. It's a rare as well. So check that one out. Because that... Let's see. It's funny because some of these random sets can have just one or two cards in it that could be worth money just because it's a rare from sets that are not really easily available these days. Uh, people don't really didn't really open them or whatever. Yeah, this is 
also go on for two or three things. Even as a rare. Fascinating. That's a gorgeous looking card though, that's what caught my eye, it's the artwork on it. And this is the thing, is looking back over the years at the different artworks that all these cards have. Had. That's what Ooh, Arthur Kudo. Cool. Shame about the damage of the card, but nice. Requazen. Badly damaged, that's what you Google. Suku. Rafiki. Ooh. Hello. Oh, and we've got. That does not look like a real card. No, that's a fake card for sure. That one definitely is fake. See? Look at the back of it. No way that's a real card. And the text on it. Yeah, not worth keeping that one on. Surfing Pikachu, though. That's a rare. Uh, not a rare. Uh, well, it is a rare, but it's a secret rare. From uh, XY Evolutions, I think it is. Let me double check. Pika Pika! Yep, I was right, XY Evolutions. That card alone is going for a fiver, so. That's insane, like, because it's such an old card, I'm sure that people can get it. Unfortunately, the condition's not the best. But there might be someone who really, really wants it for their set. You don't know. I'm going to stick that in the middle though, because that's a potential nice card to have. So there you go, people who think they're not sure they're not worth anything. Random secret rares like that. You've got to keep your eye out for the numbers on it, but that one's 111 or 108 secret rare. Doesn't always have to be a shiny thing though. That's what people get. People assume that it's going to be this super shiny Pokemon card. Not, not all. Mainly are now, granted. You get the you get the lovely gold secret rares now. Which I've had two of in the last week. Unreal. But uh, no, back in the day there were secret rares that were not shiny. So I have discovered. It's all new to me, of course, but. Let's see what we've got here. We've got three more packs to go after this one. I'm tired of all these Pokemon cards, hey. So many to go through. Oh, but some of them it's great. So pure nostalgia for some of these. I just love them. My sister's in the way, don't need them. Okay. Oh, I think. Yeah. There's a fossil cycle. That's an interesting Charmeleon. Charmander from base set again. Base set two. Oh my word, so many Charmanders. Some of the obviously like the Charmanders. Base set two, base set. Wow. Oh, and that two. Chilling in, in the wind. Team Rocket. There's another Team Rocket. Okay, nice. These ones are randomly in good condition. Like there's so many bad cards in here and then there's random cards like this that are so old that they shouldn't be in this good condition. And you get that randomly in the pack. Great condition for its age. It's not perfect. It's in great condition though. Can't wait to get these all into their own individual sets and sort of maybe do them by year or something like that. I don't know how fun doing it. I wish there was a way I could set it up that people just send me their Pokemon card collections that they've never opened and, and I literally just go through them and find ones that are decent put them, package them back, send them back to them, that would be amazing I'd love that what, what a job that would be, yeah Pokemon card surveyor Is that even a thing? Did I come up with a job spec when you were doing your job interview thing or your job uh, thing for school that would be 
Uh, you're going to be a Pokemon card inspector one day. Surveyor. Who would have thought? I wouldn't have thought. I've been sitting here going through some of these awesome cards from way back when. Yesteryear. To Denny. Nice. Kuna. Graveler from base set. Golbat from Fossil. Pidgeot, it's probably. Pantacruel from Fossil. That is interesting. That's the championship card again. 2003. 13, sorry. Base set Pokedex. Wow. I haven't seen that in a while either. Ogre Sash, Retriever, Tierno, Paris, Energy Retrieval, Ultra Ball, another Ultra Ball. Lily, Professor Juniper from World Championship again. I don't know anything about those World Championship cards. Yeah, I love that Hitman Lee card. Double Edge. Double Edge. Magmar from Base. Uh, from Fossil. That is incredibly good condition too. <laughs> oh, funny how they're just so randomly good condition ones there. That's true. So many old cards. I love it. What's it all about? What is all about here? Two more. And I'm definitely calling it quits because I am tired. I am exhausted. All these cars just look through hard work, tiring. And then the thing is, it's all a mess, you've got to tie it back, which you should see the mess I'm sitting here just in the corner. Unbelievable. I'm going to drink here before we go and make that No, uh, I don't think I've seen a worse card than that in a long time. That's pretty shoppers. Ooh, though, hold on. Oh, Ben, that careful. Careful. That's 2016. I thought that was a base set. Oh, I might have lost my mind a bit. Particularly that I just nearly dropped it. Plus. Ooh, boy, I'm tired. Drazy walking on the beach. What chop? Lowland field to it. The base uh, Team Rocket Voltorb again. Look at the condition of them. Those Voltorbs are great. Magnemite. Base set. Uh, great condition. Loads of them. Very much. The Team Rocket Magmite. Wow. That's in really good condition. They're like over 20 years old, these cards. Some of them are in great condition. Weedle Base Set. More Magmite. Team Rocket. Walter Base Set. Magmite Base Set. Bell Sprout Base Set 2. They sit through and then this absolutely shocking little card. I don't know what's happened here in this one. This one has been had its life beaten out of it. Wow. Interesting to go on eBay and see what some of these cards would get now on the market. Right, final one. Let's see. Oh. No, 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 come out that way. Oh, 
only hardcore people have stayed to see all these random cards. And those people just drop in chat when they were like, I just want the code cards. But sure, only the real fans want to see cards from way back yonder here. Okay, let's see what we've got. Are these, are these energies, are they? The energy, rest in peace. R.I.P. Oh man. <laughs> Funnily enough, some of these fairy energies might be uh might be just what they want. And yeah, this is all energy. Fairies might be interestingly it might be worth something because of of course you no longer get them. But I would imagine the rest of these energies are just standard. Nothing to watch out home about. Just energy cards, which you need to if you want to play the game. Well, that was actually surprisingly well done to actually get that as a last pack. I don't think that would be easy, as easily done. But uh, yeah, that that's I, I am gonna have to go through these in, in offline mode and categorize them. There are definitely cards in there that I think will be worth some money. Um, if we consider them on like eBay and things like that, so um, let's let's just out of interest. I'm gonna jump on while I've got you guys here. Let's go to eBay. Example a mag magnemite team rocket. Like a near mint version. Even like that's insane. First editions are going for seven quid. Near mints non are going for two fifty. And there was a mountain of them in there. One fifty, and that's the thing is when you add all at once up, you've got in there that could be worth one pound fifty, two pound in there. You have a couple of hundred pounds worth of cards in there that are worth. Um, what was the other one? Um, what about Charmander? Was Charmander the set? Near mint going for a fiver. Unbelievable. 320 is unlimited. There's Shadowless as well. I, that's unreal. What? You have so many cards in, in that in that pile that sell for a pound here, a pound there. Gonna what? Add up an end. I mean, there's hundreds of cards here. So we've just gone through. You could do a lot where it's just like, we'll send you a. Uh, Surprise card, even sell for two pound a pop. Like, look at that, a PSA nine Shadows Charmer on base. Now. This is this is a Charmander. It's already one hundred and two pounds. That's ridiculous. Like that's not even in great condition. There's ones in there that were in better condition than that, and that's going to buy it now, price at one pound fifty. That's mental. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get these all stuck, piled, and uh, just figure out. Near mint from rough on around the edges. Definitely cards in there that were of that kind of quality. And I'm gonna have to look at them with more fine tooth comb to see if there's anything, any hidden things that I missed. But, yeah, no, there's some great cards in that mix there, and I'm hoping that we can find something that would have. First new onesies will be happy with. This definitely is not not real here. Um, no, no, but there's our pools for the night. Tool scraper, old car. Nine tails V. Shaman. Holographic, Valerian, Slow Roll V, Slow Poke, Reverse Holographic, I just want them to be together. A Waylord, 
reverse holographic rear. And there we go with the other one. Not bad, not too shabby. Good evening. It's not too bad in terms of how we play uh, cards out there, but I would say not as good as what I had last week. Last week those were absolutely off the chart. So if you haven't seen last week's, watch last week's video. Give a highlights video, absolutely banging. Um, but I think that's me for tonight. Thanks very much for joining. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. And if you check out my YouTube channel for some more videos, I have more coming. I'll be going live with the Shining Fates uh, opening hopefully on Monday if they if they arrive on time uh, with a Alakazam V box most likely, and I'll do some other openings over the next wee while. Uh, probably in April, I'll try and do a Pokemon Nuzlocke of some sort as a run up Pokemon Snap. But yeah, I've got loads of ideas. Just gotta get them done. Thanks very much for hanging out.